creation of it, the, the actual painting of the work is my favourite part of it. Because it doesn't require anyone else's input or permissions or opinion to do anything, it's, it's all me. What the audience is going to think or what critics are going to think or whether people like it or not. It's, I'm doing it at first because it's something I want to do. And then when it's exhibited or sold or placed on the website, then, then I'm happy to hear what people think about it. But it's not something that's on my mind while I'm working. Because I never know when something's going to appeal to the audience or not. I'm very lucky to be able to do this for my living. I'm very grateful for the fact I get to do something I love every day. And each day is different. And the fact that I have... I make a living out of it just is remarkable because it shouldn't be this much fun and you know I get to paint naked people and I get paid for it so I'm very lucky and I'm very happy with that. I work from photographs because it would be really distracting because some of them can be a bit x-rated so it wouldn't be fair to ask the models to stay in that position for too long. I worry about how everything's so disposable in the gay community I think Everything's based on how much it costs, or what you're wearing, or who you're friends with. It's all, su it seems to be superficial, even though I know there's quite, I know people that aren't superficial, but on the surface, we have a reputation of being very disposable. And until we want to be treated as equals, we have to act like equals. We have to treat people well. And until we can do that, then we're never going to get past other people's prejudices because we can only be judged on how we act. The graphic novel I'm just about to send to the publisher. I'm about a month behind. But yeah, it's been really challenging and hard work. I've never worked so hard in my life that it's kind of sent me a little blind. I can't focus anymore, but it's nearly done and it's it's like a love letter to London. It's my all the places I love in London and how much I think it's the greatest city on the, on the planet and it's just wonderful and it's about love and betrayal and disappointment and lots of sex.